Okay, what attracted you to the Epic Plan? Well, I'd, I'd read a good deal of Upton Sinclair. I grew up in a home where the nation, the New Republic, were, was available. My father, though a, a businessman, was conservative, I think, what in, in the right sense of that word, not, not a reactionary, uh, and uh, uh, with a great sense of fairness. And I, uh, when I heard that Upton Sinclair was had this campaign and had this uh, socialist uh, uh, plan, I was uh, excited about it and interested to see what part I could play in, in helping it along. Okay, great. Tell me about how you got involved. What was, what was your role in the campaign? I don't know how I actually uh, got involved in the campaign, but... So you were telling me what your role in the campaign was. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I, uh, I don't know, went to headquarters or somewhere, wherever one volunteers for something like that, and uh, they assigned me a job as a precinct captain, which meant uh, they had some storefronts that they had rented or had been donated to them, I don't know. And I had one of those on a moderately busy street. and. Uh, 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 people, uh, there were signs indicating what it was, and uh, uh, people would uh, uh, come in uh, who volunteered to help and uh, would ask uh, what they could do. We uh, told them that uh, this particular street uh, uh, needed working on, they should go house to house and distribute some literature. We also had literature available. I don't know for sure whether, don't remember whether we sold the literature or gave it to them, because I know the campaign was largely financed by the uh, funds from the uh, voters themselves. That was a lot of responsibility then that you had. Oh, uh, perhaps so. I. Uh, I don't know whether I, I took it seriously, uh, but I don't know whether I thought I was all that important. And uh, we, uh, I went to many of the uh, uh, meetings. They had uh, campaign uh, 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 meetings, uh, uh, rallies, sort of thing, but different from political rallies that I had known before. This one charged admission. And uh, uh, people were actually pleased, I think, to feel that they were important and that their contributions mattered. And I think it made the, uh, they took what was said much more interesting, uh, in interestedly, because they were uh, uh, involved and uh, their, uh, their money was involved in it. And, uh, well, why do, you, why do you think they would charge the mission? Were there any other, was that the main form of getting uh, contributions to support the campaign? That was the main pro uh, way of getting contributions. They also took collections at meetings, and the uh, I think there were two reasons for that. One, they didn't really have a uh, uh, big money people were generally against it. They felt it was uh, dangerous to the okay, economy. Let me start again and say big money people were generally against what? Uh, against a, the epic movement, the okay. idea. Okay, so start again. See, the epic, the epic movement uh, was a, a movement uh, by the people. The plan was to uh, open uh, factories that were closed because of the Depression and to put people to work there who were unemployed because of the Depression, to pay these people with uh, uh, coupons of some sort, I think they had a different word for it, and uh, they, uh, these coupons uh, could be exchanged for material produced by any of the factories. So there was sort of a, uh, be a sort of a separate monetary system that would be uh, developed there. Uh, of course, temporarily for the uh, period of the uh, Depression, I suppose. But it was uh, as uh, near to socialism as seemed uh, possible in those days. Okay, and you said that big moneyed interests weren't against, were against it so that uh, they had to get contributions from the people? That's right. Can, can you describe that in your own words? Of course. Uh, the, they needed 
uh, because they didn't have uh, funds available from the rich, those who usually donated to political causes, uh, in order to get the funds to uh, carry on the campaign, it was necessary to get the uh, uh, poorer people, those who felt their uh, uh, future was uh, at stake, uh, to uh, contribute. So that it was uh, really a grassroots campaign, both uh, with respect to the voters and with respect to the contributors. And did you ever contribute? Uh, yes, in fact, I uh, one time got carried away and contributed a hundred dollars, which they seemed to think was a great deal, and gave me a, a, a gold card instead of the ordinary white cards. Uh, I, I, I said that uh, didn't seem right, that they should treat somebody better because he gave more money than somebody else. But they, they didn't understand that, whoever was, uh, was in charge at that particular headquarters. And so, but uh, being involved. Yes, we have to change the film. All right. Yeah. Part three. Okay. Tell me when you went to a meeting and you heard Sinclair speak. How did he impress you as a speaker? What did you think about him? I have a hard time remembering what Sinclair's voice was like, but. At, at, Um, I want you to just tell me the part you just were explaining to me about how Sinclair had made it clear in his, his books that he thought that the only way that you could... That's you right. Could, so tell, like, he, tell me about that. Like, he he knows... Like, 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 I'm, I'm Sinclair. Like, like, excuse me. I was talking when you were talking. Now we can. Okay. Uh, Upton Sinclair uh, felt, he said, that... It was impossible to uh, win with a, uh, a new party because of the fact that so many people were riveted to their party. They, they, what he called the grandfather vote was for the people who voted for a candidate, who voted uh, with a party because their uh, grandfathers voted for the party, and it was a family thing to do. So. He figured the thing to do was to try to capture one of the major parties. We had a system, a primary system, whereby the people could determine uh, 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 who the candidates would be uh, for the uh, primary, and and uh, and in the primary decide who was going to run for the for the party. So he figured the best party, the closest, would be the Democratic Party, and to. Uh, I then to uh, count on keeping the uh, grandfather vote, but uh, en enlist people to join the party, give up their membership in the Republican Party or whatever other party they were in, and join the Democratic Party and vote for the him and the other candidates that he had uh, 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 selected uh, as uh, to. Uh, as candidates for the uh, uh, legislatures, the Senate and the. Uh, okay. Um, can you, tell me, you said that there's a change after the primary that you felt, that you felt that the, there's a change in the campaign. What, what, what did you feel that change was and how did it affect you? Well, I noticed it most specifically because I was, uh, 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 had been appointed to the. Uh, uh, State Central Committee. Okay. I noticed what I noticed. He started the problem. Started yeah, the I know. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, I felt that after the uh, campaign, after the primary, which uh, uh, Sinclair people won, that in the Democratic Party, that uh, uh, a change was taken in the way the party operated. I noted this because, in the first place, because I had been appointed to the State Central Committee, and I noticed that we went up to Sacramento, had a big meeting, and elected a, uh, uh, a committee uh, and a president. And uh, after that, 
they, we never heard from them again. They ran the party together with, uh, and they enlisted uh, the old uh, Democratic Party uh, politicians. The, many of them really didn't care about the principles of the party, but they wanted the party elected because they were connected with it. So uh, instead of, they no longer asked people for nickels and dimes and quarters, but they asked the big shots for hundreds and thousands of dollars. And so the people didn't, have that strong feeling anymore that it was their party and that they uh, uh, and that it was important for them to vote. So I think that was one factor. To me, it seemed a principal factor why uh, uh, Sinclair wasn't able to win. Okay. My Again, if you can explain it to me, but very very briefly, that you felt that Sinclair that maybe Sinclair couldn't win because they lost that they stopped going after the grassroots support. Yes, I think that uh, many of uh, Sinclair's supporters uh, lost some interest in the campaign because they found that uh, they weren't concerned, it's considered anymore. Nobody asked them for contributions. And the contributions were coming from the old line uh, uh, Democratic politicians. Okay. Um, can you? Tell me about, uh, do you remember the Literary Digest poll when that came out and what did you feel? Did you feel discouraged at all when you heard that? What did you feel? Uh, it came out sometime after, okay, uh, the, uh, excuse that, me, I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, the, the, the Literary Digest conducted a, a poll. It was a poll of their readers. It was before the days when there were scientific polls with, uh, with uh, which had uh, 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 some statistical uh, uh, analysis, and uh, they the polls showed that Sinclair would be badly defeated in the uh, in the final election. It. Uh, and I think it, it, it turned out later on analysis that they're, uh, and uh, they, they very much overestimated the, uh, the strength of the uh, Sinclair opponents. But I think the, it did have the effect of discouraging people, and apparently also tended to discourage uh, Sinclair. Okay, I want you to repeat the end of that again, and tell, instead of saying it, just say that the, that the literary poll... Uh, yeah, the literary digest poll, uh, I think, uh, discouraged the results of that poll, uh, discouraged uh, Upton Sinclair as well as many of his followers because they uh, took it seriously. Did you feel discouraged personally? I'm not sure to what extent I felt uh, the uh, uh, literary uh, uh, the results of the Literary Digest poll were uh, important. Uh, but, uh, and how much I was affected, I can't, re I can't remember that. But you feel I, I, I was more concerned, I think, that uh, Upton Sinclair was apparently discouraged. But you felt that this may have felt to you like a low point in the campaign? Well, the, uh, I've been asked whether I consider this a, a low point in the campaign. And uh, I'm not sure that I uh, that it was or that I did, uh, but it was just one of the factors that tended to uh, uh, reduce uh, the enthusiasm. All right. Okay. It was soon after that uh, 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 Sinclair had s uh, some sort of a meeting with Hate. Now Hate was an independent running in the uh, uh, in the campaign for governor. There were the Republican, or Miriam, and uh, the uh, Democrat, uh, now uh, Sinclair, and then there was Haight, uh, uh, an independent. And uh, apparently Upton Sinclair had a meeting with Haight. Uh, there were some uh, rumors, and I don't know how well they were substantiated, that uh, uh, Sinclair had offered uh, uh, to join with Haight if, and, uh, uh, and, uh, in order to defeat Miriam and to drop out of the campaign himself. Well, uh, anyhow, voters got wind of that 
and uh, it discouraged many of them. They felt that if Sinclair wasn't uh, into why well, there wasn't much point in, in, in their voting for him. Okay, I'm going to ask you a little bit more about that, and because you were involved, it's better if you answer it like we felt something rather than, than they, if you, if, if you felt that at all. I see um, what you mean. Uh, you were, um, I mean, EPIC was a movement as well as a political campaign. So could you explain a little bit more that people may have felt that if Upton Sinclair was thinking of, of withdrawing or, or combining his campaign, that they felt would be let down? Is that right? Uh, pr probably, it's probably true that uh, uh, Upton Sinclair uh, the many people felt that Upton Sinclair's uh, program was a was a campaign, a movement. It was a movement. It wasn't just a, a political thing. And to join with even a good uh, 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 politician uh, uh, and uh, abandon the movement uh, uh, was a uh, something that we didn't we didn't like. We felt. Uh, that Upton Sinclair's uh, plan uh, uh, was a serious one. It was a, a way of introducing a, a, a sort of socialism and also a way of uh, helping the, uh, uh, the economy and the uh, people who were uh, uh, stranded because of uh, unemployment. And so uh, the idea of giving over the campaign to someone else in order to uh, defeat the Republican uh, and get somebody better uh, really d didn't satisfy all of our uh, desires. Did you feel like maybe you were being betrayed? Oh, uh, I think some people, I think some people actually felt betrayed by the fact that uh, Upton Sinclair uh, uh, seemed to be uh, shirking uh, 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 getting scared and getting cold feet and leaving the, uh, uh, in a sense, leaving the movement, which he, he, he didn't actually do, but he, uh, he, he did come, give some signs of being ready to do it. So you tell me about what you, you know. Many of us uh, in the EPIC movement were uh, there not just uh, to defeat the Republican or to have a uh, more democratic uh, uh, governor, but also because we felt the, uh, the movement, which was a, really a socialist movement, and many of us uh, uh, believed in socialism, and also uh, because we thought it was a, uh, a genuine way to uh, 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 reduce the effects of the Depression for many people and perhaps to uh, 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 get it over uh, altogether. So, so that we were not terribly excited with the idea uh, that, uh, of having uh, uh, someone else hate or uh, at, or, or even uh, Sinclair himself uh, become governor without the plan, which uh, was an important part of our excitement. Okay. But, but you, but I mean, this is something that you remember, you know, 60 years ago you remember that you felt discouraged, a little bit betrayed by Sinclair when you heard that, when you heard the rumors that he may make a deal with, with hate. Oh. <coughs> Yes, the idea that uh, he, he uh, w w was discouraging to m many of us, I think, uh, that uh, Sinclair had uh, uh, already given up and was ready to make a, make a deal. We wanted to, uh, to carry on with the full expectation of, uh, of winning and the realization that we might not. But you, but you still had hope that you were going to win. I mean, you really felt like 
you were part of something that was maybe that was bigger than you oh, oh sure and we were uh, uh, and of course when the final uh, when, when the final uh, vote came we hadn't uh, we weren't at all sure that we were going to win but it was quite disappointing to find it Miriam was uh, gave the impression and I think his uh, activities indicated that he he was pretty conservative Republican and uh, uh, I had so many of us, even my little uh, uh, son, a five-year-old at that time, I t later on, I t after the, uh, in January, after the election, I took him down to the Rose Bowl, uh, to, uh, to the Tournament of Roses Parade, and uh, he went up front so that he could see, and uh, afterwards, when I, we found each other again, he said, you know, Governor Merriam was in the parade, and he came by, and I didn't say a word to him. It's... Tell me about your son, though. Tell me about the fact that um, you used to take your son leafleting. I mean, what, was, this in, was the campaign something that you felt that your family could be part of? Uh, yes, and uh, he uh, obviously had some of this enthusiasm for it. It was, it was, it was a movement that uh, I wanted to be part of. And tell me that you took your son, with, that your, your five-year-old son helped you leaflet. And as I don't know if I s as mentioned before, but uh, uh, he did help me. Okay. He, he? My my son did. Uh, my five-year-old son was uh, helpful. I don't know to whether it was a serious extent, but at any rate, he did uh, go around the neighborhood and uh, distribute leaflets uh, for the uh, epic campaign. Okay, I want you to tell me one more time about how I took my son with me, my five-year-old son with me, and helped me leaflet. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I don't... Tr I took my five-year-old son with me, and he helped me leaflet. And I think sometimes he may have gone by himself. I have that impression, but maybe he was too young to do that. Although a five-year-old can do that. So, uh, at any rate, uh, he did get involved in the campaign. Um, can you tell me how old you were when you got involved in the campaign? I was just, I was 30 years old at the time. Uh -huh. um, well, tell me again, actually, let me ask you the rest of the question. Tell of me course. how old you were. Were the people younger than you or older? Were you kind of in the middle age? Uh, uh, when I was a precinct captain there, I... The, some of the uh, people who came in and who helped on it were old-time uh, uh, politically uh, activists. Uh, others were uh, very young people who had gotten interested and, uh, uh, and uh, w wanted to help. And where were you? I was, I suppose, uh, uh, somewhere in the middle. I don't know. Pro probably towards the younger end. I'm not sure about that. I was, I'm sorry, I, hmm? yeah, tell you me want me to start it over again? Okay. You just said that you were, in the, you were 30 years old and you were uh, in the middle. Yeah, I was about 30 years old and I was in the, uh, about the middle age of the people in the campaign, I think. Great, okay. Did you think that that the epic plan was workable, that, that if, if Sinclair won, that you really have to be able to have some changes? I suppose uh, every... Uh, there was a, a difference in, in opinion of different people, how seriously they took the epic plan. Uh, some felt, I think, that it was a good try, but uh, weren't sure it would work. Others were convinced of, uh, by Sinclair that it was a, a good plan and really would work. And uh, uh, I think I was one of those, but I'm, uh, I, I don't remember uh, too clearly there. I know I was very much uh, excited about the campaign and wanted to work in it, but well, whether it would really, uh, how workable it would be, and whether it would really help to lead to socialism, I uh, had no idea. Okay, great. Fine. Next is room tone for Mr. Schott's interview.
Okay, end of sound roll.